example here is 2 multiplied by x plus 4. And again, when I'm multiplying things, I'm going to use my box multiplication method. So, beside the 2, I'm going to write side. And beside the x plus 4, I'm going to write top. So, fill in as normal. So, along the side here, I have a 2. And along the top, I have an x. Now, I've got two things, so I'm going to write x and a plus 4. So we multiply as accordingly. 2 multiplied by x gives me 2x. And 2 multiplied by plus 4 gives me plus 8. And so my answer to this one here is 2x plus 8. Example 2, 3y multiplied by 2y minus 4. So side and top. Along the side I have 3y. Along the top I now have 2y and minus 4. So 3 by 2 gives me 6. y multiplied by y gives me y squared. 3 multiplied by minus 4, so I've got a plus by a minus, that's going to give me a minus. 3 multiplied by 4 is going to be 12. And then I have a y on its own, so it'll be minus 12y. So my answer to this question is 6y squared minus 12y. Two more examples here. Example 3 is 5p multiplied by p plus 2. So we don't need to write top and side if you understand the method at this point. So along the side here I'm going to write 5p and along the top I'm going to write p plus 2 and we're going to multiply out. We can write 1p here if it makes things easier. But 5 by 1 gives me 5. And p multiplied by p gives me p squared. 5 multiplied by 2 gives me 10. And we have the p here, so it's 10p. And it's plus 10p. So my answer is 5p squared plus 10p. In example 4 here, we have 3x squared multiplied by 5x minus 6. So lay it out correctly. 3x squared along the side and along the top, I'm going to have 5x and minus 6c. We will do our numbers first. Sorry, we will do our numbers first. So 3 multiplied by 5 is going to give me 15 x squared multiplied by x, so x squared, remember, is equal to x by x, and now we're multiplying that by another x, which gives me x cubed, so that will be 15x cubed. Here we have a plus and a minus, that is going to give me a minus. 3 multiplied by 6 is 18. And the x squared and the c, we're, we can't multiply them out anymore, so we're just going to write minus 18x squared c. So my full answer to this question is 15x cubed minus 18x squared c. Example 5 here, I have 2a all multiplied by a minus 3b minus 5. So side and top. Along the side I'm writing 2a. Along the top I now have three terms, so it'll just mean I'll have three lines, that's all. So it'll be a. My second term is minus 3b. Remember always take the sign in front. And my last term is minus 5. So we got to watch our signs here and just be very careful. So 2a times a, and I can write 1a there if that helps. 
2a times 1a gives me two ones are two and a multiplied by a gives me a squared. Next, I'm dealing with a plus multiplied by a minus. A plus by a minus is a minus. Two times three is six. And we have an a multiplied by a b, which gives me a b. And finally, I have 2a times minus 5. So it's a plus by a minus, which gives me a minus. The numbers next, 2 by 5, which is 10. And I have an a attached. So my full answer to this question is 2a squared minus 6ab minus 10a. Okay, so they're getting a little bit longer now. You can see example 6 is p, bracket 2p, minus 3x minus 1, plus 4x multiplied by 2x squared plus 2x plus 3. And what we're going to do is we're just going to work this out in parts. So the first bit I'm going to work out is this bit here, which is p bracket 2p minus 3x minus 1. So along the side I'm going to have p, and along the top I'm going to have 2p, minus 3x, minus 1, and I'm going to work out as normal. So p multiplied by 2p, or 1p multiplied by 2p, will give me 2p squared. A plus by a minus gives me a minus, and p multiplied by 3x is just going to give me 3px. And I have a plus by a minus, which is going to give me a minus. And p by 1 is going to give me 1p, or p. So that's the first bit. And now I'm going to work out the second bit over here, which is plus 4x bracket 2x squared plus 2x plus 3. So again, we lay it out. Along the side, I'm going to write 4x. Along the top, 2x squared plus 2x plus 3. So numbers first, 4 multiplied by 2 gives me 8. Now I have an x multiplied by an x squared, and hopefully we've realised x by x squared is x cubed now, and it's just a good one to remember. Next we have a plus by a plus, so it's going to be a plus. 4 by 2 is 8. And an x multiplied by an x is x squared. And then the last one, we have 4 multiplied by 3, which is 12, plus 12. And we still have the x, so it's plus 12x. So my answer for all of this is 2p squared minus 3px minus p plus 8x cubed plus 8x squared, plus 12x. So super long one there, but we're just using all of the work that we've done beforehand and just putting the two sets together. Now, if there was anything here I could group, at this point I would also tidy it up a little bit. But as you can see here, every single thing is a different term. Today's learning check is to simplify each of the following. So remember, as soon as you see brackets, that means multiply. So it's 3 multiplied by 3x, 3y multiplied by 9, 4y by 3y, 4xy by 3xy, and minus 3x multiplied by 4.